Here you have a river with river current at the speed of two meters per second flowing to the right, and the boat that can travel at three meters per second in still water. Which means that this three meters per second is the speed of the boat relative to the river water. How long does it take this boat to travel six hundred meters upstream? How long does it take the same boat to travel six hundred meters downstream back to its starting point? When the boat travels upstream, it gets uh, two velocities, one by itself, three meters per second, one by the river current. The river current carries the boat downstream at a velocity of two. It gets those two velocities, and I'm adding those two velocities tail to tip. I started here, ended there. So the net velocity would be starting here, ending there, that way, and it's uh, three minus oops three minus two, which is one meter per second. So the net velocity of the boat is one meter per second upstream. And how long does it take to go six hundred meters? Now it's a constant velocity motion. So the only equation we need is the delta x equals to the velocity times time. So the time is the delta x divided by the velocity. Delta x is the displacement. It's six hundred meters. The velocity is one. So it takes six hundred seconds. When the boat aims downstream, it gives itself a velocity that's downstream. At three meters per second, while the river current carries the boat downstream at two meters per second, and I'm again I'm adding those two velocity vectors tail to tip, starting here, ending there. So the total velocity of the boat would be five meters per second. So the Time would be the displacement divided by the velocity. So this is six hundred divided by five, a hundred and twenty seconds. In most textbooks, this is explained using relative velocity. So I'm just going to cover it very quickly here. The velocity of the boat in still water is the velocity of the boat relative to the water. So we have this: the velocity of the boat relative to the water. The relative velocity is the difference in velocities. Since it is the velocity of the boat, so this is the velocity of the boat minus the velocity of the water. And when we say the velocity of the boat or the velocity of the water, where we mean the velocity of the boat relative to the shore and the velocity of the water relative to the shore. So if I just move this one over to this side, the velocity of the boat relative to the water plus the velocity of water. Gives us the velocity of the boat, which is exactly what we did over here. The velocity of the boat relative to the shore equals to the velocity of the boat by itself, and the velocity of the water, the water current carrying the boat. So I usually just say the boat gets two velocities, one by itself, and one by the water. Therefore, its total velocity is the sum of these two velocities.